Well, good morning to you too, Scotland. That's amazing. Good morning. We have learned one thing, if nothing else, you cannot sleep in, in Scotland. <laughs> Not if you're like on this side. Luck. So we are in the town of, I guess it's Greenock or Greenock. I'm gonna yeah. go with Greenock. Greenock. That's great. about an hour outside of Glasgow by train. Mm -hmm. Now our plans have been ever changing for today. We do that. <laughs> we were originally going to walk 15 minutes to the train station mm -hmm. and take a train for an hour to Glasgow and walk around. Mm -hmm. But we've decided we are so close to the highlands and castles and magnificence that we need to get out and see some of them. Correct. We've got Edinburgh coming up, and I think we're going to focus on the city of Edinburgh on oh, the yeah. other side. But for today, about two days ago, we decided let's start searching for tours. Guys, yeah, sometimes we make last minute plans, but uh, I'm excited about this one. Yeah, tours from Greenock are not easy to find no. two days in advance, but we managed to find a company called Circa Tours, mm -hmm. S-E-R-C-A, and they have an Outlander tour. I love Outlander. Are you familiar with the TV yeah. show? I'm so excited. We get to see some of the castles yeah. and like filming spots and almost up to the Highlands, I think. So it's a bit of the Highlands. Beautiful yeah. Scottish landscape. That's right. We were hoping to maybe get up to it. Is it Loch Lomond? I've always said Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond. I think but so. we'll have to save all that. I think we might touch Loch Lomond today. I'm not sure, but. We're getting close. Let's go sing me a song of a last that is gone. That's the theme song. Um, <laughs> we're gonna grab a quick breakfast, hop off, yes. get out there. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> International Cafe. It's fast and it's good. That's the theme song of International Cafe. <laughs> breakfast of champions. I forgot to record before D bit your <laughs> sandwich, but just ignore that. <laughs> Let's get ready to Scotland! Down to deck four. I feel the chill coming up, even though it's supposed to be like 75 degrees today. We should be able to just wander across this little bridge. Oh, we are heading to town, train, and taxis. So ships, excursions, we're back there. We are heading in this direction. <laughs> oh, through this building. Oh, it appears to be independent vendors to the left. Welcome to our first stop, which is Blackness Castle. We've come about an hour and change from Greenock, as we've learned it's called. Not Greenock, Greenock. And so this is representing Fort William from the Outlander series. If you know, you know. If you don't, it's just a gorgeous castle. <laughs> well, here is the ticketing area. Got a nice little gift shop in here, so £7.50 for admission. Oh, they got pans. Nice. I like that one. There's that little Loch Ness. <laughs> and a Harry Coo. Island battle. Honey. So admission is not included in this tour, so we've just snagged ourselves. Two tickets. And now let us have a wander. There's no kissing stone up there, I hope. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. You're in the castle. Is that your castle dance? Oh, well, now. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have some free roaming time. Okay. Half an hour. Now we can just bask and admire, do as we please. So this is the site of the famous lashing scene, I guess, as it were. We won't give too many spoilers today. No, Anybody know. planning to watch the show? <laughs> Not for children. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, it's not really like your feel-good family, uh, you know, sit down on a Sunday evening and watch kind of show. <laughs> not Little... like Para DJ. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. It's cold. Literally, I, I love Scotland the temperature. Like, it's kind of like I'm like glad it's like how it's supposed to be. At least a little overcast, a little chilly. Right. We just we don't need rain, you know. <laughs> All right, let's look at your castle some more. <laughs> I think we've got three castles on the agenda for today. What's in the hole? Oh, the outside world. <laughs> oh, no. They could like stick a cannon through there and boom boom. Let's not do that. Central tower, main mast, or prison tower. Oh, all right. 
I'm having flashbacks. This makes me think of Blarney all over again. Yeah. Do you have stairs similar to They do. Oh no, really? Okay. Yeah, that wasn't nearly as bad. Plus you've got little landings you can pull off and take pictures. <laughs> Ma'am, where are you going? Oh dear. People who had fallen out of favor with the king. Oh great, now I don't know where they keep their deeds in this tower. Um, hello. Oh my gosh. Good place to play hide and seek. I'm sure the kids thought that would be awesome. Let's go out all right, up to the next level. <laughs> they look remarkably similar. They do, don't they? <laughs> That's a tiny little room. Wow. Got a view, though. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, we made it to the top. Top of the world. It's a lot of stairs. It is, and there's not even a stone up here. <laughs> Jillian, That's true. Here. What are you talking about? Kiss any stone you like. Mm. Let's come down here and see what we see. Oh, hey. And we can see the town of Blackness itself over there. Super cute. But yeah, this is fun. Are you coming in my space? Are you invading my personal castle space? <laughs> There's a limited space <laughs> here. Balancing. And I think it was a one-way staircase, so we'll have to yell right of way as we go back down. <laughs> We haven't seen a lot of people here, so I think we're okay right now. If this was crowded, I can imagine this might be like more of a hassle. Bye! Hassle in the castle! <laughs> hey guys, welcome to a real-time walk down with the steps at Blackness Castle. <laughs> Alright, 83 steps D has counted. And we're down. <laughs> well, we can get our steps in today, literally. <laughs> steps. Stairs. What have we at the top of this set of stairs? Just this room. Just, this tells you about it. <laughs> just this room. It's a storage attic guard room. Hmm. <laughs> so we're in the middle status prison. I guess the low status prison would have been down there. Oh boy. Did they just throw you down? There? I'm assuming. All right, back down and out we go. Oh, we're gonna have to do a bathroom review. All right, so this is in the latrine with Jay. Well, there's where you did your business, and I see they do have a nice little snack shelf over there. And some toiletry storage. Very nice. I give it a zero. We've got some other climbing bits and pieces in here. Wow, I think we'll wander outside and make sure we can get that classic castle selfie before we head out. Oh man, they got like places you can walk up there. Mm -hmm. Wow. You have to go in there, I think. There's the exit, actually. Let's come take a peek out here first. We'll do the easy access uh, viewpoints. <laughs> Out here's where Jamie Fraser launched all of his famous <laughs> Fraser boats and <laughs> Sassenachs and... Okay, I don't, I don't know if they shot anything out here or not. So presumably at some point there is water here. I know the tide shifts are pretty great around this area. Oh, there's some information about the port and Blackness Bay. There's a nice little overview of the entire castle. In one glance. Well, from out here we can see down to, I think you said there were three bridges down in that direction. We're actually kind of almost over to uh, Queens Ferry, Edinburgh area at this point. So I think you said as we came into South Queens Ferry in three days time we probably would see these bridges. <laughs> That's kind of funny. There's bagpipes. I hear here. bagpipes. <laughs> well we've got just under 10 minutes until we're due back at the van so we're gonna head that way. There's only four of us on the tour today which is kind of fun. Yeah. Pipes are getting louder. Oh, he's just finished playing the song that is the Outlander theme song. That is that is fitting. Did he? Yeah, I'm that's what I heard when we were coming up. Play it again. Play it again. Encore. Up next, we're heading to Lallybroch. Oh, we have reached. Oh. Scott Lou. 
Anyway, uh, Mid Hope Castle, uh, which you can't really go in because it uh, burned out, I guess, in, in the 50s. The 50s. Yeah. So you can see it from the outside. It's a little bit derelict now, but this should be <gasps> Lallybrock. They only really used the outside anyway for the filming location, so yeah. that's what you want to see. Yeah. So six pound per for entry. We got a little souvenir of Lallybrock in full bloom. <gasps> there it is. Wow. Let's go. Everything is branded Outlandria, they know. I think that's probably the main reason why people come here, obviously, is that connection. Gorgeous. There's a car coming. Is this Jamie Fraser's car? Oh, that's not Jamie. Not Jamie at all. So we've got a sign. We can learn a brief history of Mid Hope Castle. Well, I guess we can stroll all around and get all the angles here. Oh, there's the view from just on the other side of the archway. There's a farm back here. We're still trying to find some Highland cattle. I don't think we're going to find any because we're totally not in the right zone for it. But no hairy coos today, as they call them. Just a bunch of birds and some pretty majestic buildings. I'm sure this location was used for various scenes and various states of dress and not, if you're familiar with the show. Season one, you know. mainly. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, definitely was. Beautiful. Looks just like it does on the TV. Mm. Yep, so farm access only back here. You can't quite make a path around the back side, it doesn't look like. Over here we've got a little house that looks like a private residence, so we won't wander too close to that. So much green. So green. Yeah, it looks like it could be farm access this way, so I think well, these are the angles I'm used to seeing the property, so hey, <laughs> we got all the good angles today. <laughs> We've lallybrocked all the lallybrock. We can lallybrock for now. I just like saying it. Um, all the selfies. Let's come learn about this history one more time and then we'll head back to the van. Pretty cool. Sounds like a plan, Stan. I think the next stop after this <laughs> is a town, maybe with a lunch stop. I forget the name, but I'll, fall I want to say Falkirk, but that might yeah, not be right. Fall something. <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> Don't fall. So 1458 is the earliest date on here. This doesn't talk about the fire, which I thought he said was 1958, but it talks about restoration in 1988. Mm -hmm. Let us have a wander back down to the van. Welcome to the town of Falkland. I said Falkirk earlier, and there is a town nearby called Falkirk, but this is Falkland. <laughs> well, this is like the cutest town ever. Okay. Oh, I think this might be our Outlander tie-in right here. This, well, this is uh, this is Mrs. Eric B&B. Oh, you've been doing some reading in the car. Okay. You can stay in the famous room. But it doesn't look like that because that was filmed somewhere else. But that is the window. Ah, uh, it's the window on this side of the building. Okay, so some kind of a... I don't remember <gasps> the scene. I paid some attention. I'm going to go up there and brush my hair. That's what it is? <laughs> All right, and I'll be a ghost and I'll look at you. Spoilers. Yeah, we got cars coming, so you got to <laughs> beware of traffic as you get this photo this up. This the cutest town I've ever seen. Yes, it is. We got the whole scale up to the building with the window there. Hayloft tea room. There we be. Oh, cute. All right, let's get ready and dig into this menu. It's warm up here. We've got some specials on the board. Here is our main menu, though, we can peek at. So we've decided on blackcurrant squash as our beverage of choice today. We have both decided to start with the leek and potato soup as well. Oh, oh there comes some sandwiches. Egg mayonnaise. Thank you. Egg mayonnaise sandwich for me. Uh, brie and cranberry panini. Pretty. Let's chow down. <laughs> <laughs> Time to wander back down and out. 
one thing I need to do, which we haven't talked about this, is, um, you know, you got to keep your supply of local currency up. And I've been able to go to ATMs with my debit card yeah. and get things out at a pretty good um, exchange rate with minimal fees. So I got to top up on some pounds. That's right. Here's an ATM right here. Hopefully that works. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if it does good for me. Success, we got some pound notes now. We should be good. Now these do say Bank of Scotland, but I assume pound sterling. Guys, we're learning as we go. Pound it's sterling. the UK. Yeah, it can be spent anywhere, I assume. Just not La Havre. True, that's a Euro port, but we have, you know, two more Scottish <laughs> ports left to go, so these will be good. We need a lot of assortment of money on this. Yeah. <laughs> Time to leave all this beauty behind. She's shaking her head, nay. It's the cutest town Oh, it's whiskey time, whiskey time. Too <laughs> good. I think that's what they call a wee dram of whiskey. Measurement in Slangeva. Slangeva. Ooh la la. There we go. <laughs> Very strong. <laughs> That was pretty good. I guess it was Loch Lomond brand. Scotch whiskey. Very strong. I kind of like it. It had a good flavor to it. No, it did. You hold it on your tongue for mm -hmm. a few seconds. That's what we learned. Yeah. Let's go see what's happening now. Oh yeah, they want to get a bottle. <laughs> Next up should be Doom Castle. Here there be cows! So we've made a detour and come just north of the town of Callender <laughs> to see the Highland cattle. Also known as the Hairy Coos. Oh wow! They said if you want to feed them, you can go ask the shopkeeper for a bag of vegetables for about a pound. That sounds like a thing we need to do. Oh, there's a brown Hairy Coo back there. I just like saying Hairy Coo. <laughs> Hello, friends. You want some veggies? This pit stop was worth it. Yeah, we're doing yeah, a quick pit stop. We decided to take a little bit of uh, time off of our visit to Dune Castle so that we could come here. <laughs> so this is Trossach's Woolen Mill that we've stopped at, and we've kind of come up almost to the Loch Lomond area, which is nice. So for one pound, we have a bag of food for the Harakus. <laughs> Carrots, potatoes. Do you want a carrot? Oh gosh, how is he gonna take this from me? Oh, <laughs> yummy! Very good. <laughs> that is tasty though. This is like life goals right here. Yeah, feed the hair cues. <laughs> Maybe does he want another one? Of course he does. Anybody else want to feed him? Would you let him feed him? No. <laughs> no. Does he like potatoes? No, yeah, he loves potatoes. Oh, okay. oh he loves everything. Oh, mm. I have another oh friend here comes some more friends. Oh no, he was just like, get back. Share the love. This is Baxter, actually. It's Baxter. Oh gosh. Let's see if we can give some food to Baxter. I think that's what he said. If that's the name. He doesn't want any Oh no? All right, Hamish. Yeah, Hamish is like, hello. I'll be greedy. <laughs> Um. <laughs> I only have one more. Uh oh. Yeah, honey's not interested. Alright. Hamish is the winner. Right. Yum! Good job. This is like a goal right here. That was well worth Eat a pound. <laughs> wow. That's an all bonus. Stop. That was the best. Now we're going to head back to the castle. You know we had to come up here and see a cow, though. Yeah, because you can't see it anywhere else. That's true. Highland cows. So excited. <laughs> Well, we've come back down to the town of Dune to see Dune Castle. Oh, let's look. The ticketing office is up here. So 10 pound per adult. There we go. We've got about 50 minutes to spend here. I think you normally would have about an hour and a half, but we sacrificed some time for those harikus. Yeah, I'm, you had to do it. Worth it. 
That was a good thing about only having four of us. It was an easy vote whether or not we wanted to go see the cows. We're all like, yes, cows please. And they bought whiskey too. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's right. The other couple had wanted a bottle of that whiskey. I think they were able to find it there at the mills. <laughs> Up here is Castle Dune. So this is what, Castle Leoch in the show, I guess? Also used Monty Python. Oh, the they did say that. Game of Thrones connections, Monty Python connections. The ticket office is located here at the entrance. All right, tickets have been acquired. Looks like they're doing some refurbishment. This little courtyard out here. They did have free audio guides as well. Oh, here's some information about the castle. Yes, they've got the little Outlander tie in there. Follow arrows through the castle. Sure thing. The sun has come out finally. Yeah, it's been a little overcast all day, which I haven't minded. But nice. Leo was pretty big. Okay, we'll get one nice pan here. <gasps> then let's go up the stairs. Look at these nice steps. How many was it? 26. 26. Oh, you could have used it like this. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm real sad that this area is closed and I can't climb those stairs. So sad. So this, I guess, is the kitchen. What's this part? Are you in the oven? Are you in a giant oven? I'm not sure, actually. That's hot. Oh, I am taller than this door. <laughs> There's birds up there. Hey, friends. Maybe more than birds. Sounds like monkeys. The servery. Well, they used to use the kitchen to heat the bed chamber. Clever. Ooh, that is the spiral staircase, apparently, up. Yep. Oh, yeah, dear. Let's keep our feet on the ground for now, shall we? <laughs> the Great Hall. Well, this is a pretty great hall, actually. This is where the folks of Outlander got sorted into their houses like Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. Here's where the Goblet of Fire <laughs> names okay oh please follow arrows all right do, 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 do. oh and then from here it goes up there so this leads out to some cool views which are protected by glass and another gigantic room oh this space yeah, I feel like this room used to have a ceiling because there are supports for a floor up there. Which I guess is where we're climbing because we came out of here, but the door continues this way. It's the shortest door yet. Oh my. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Oh, what's in this room? A room. That's oh, where they keep their days in this room. I'm here. Yes, you don't have much door. You're six feet tall and that's troublesome. All right, the tour continues this way. Oh, this way we're going back down apparently. All right. Oh, this room is much cooler. Oh, wow. Conducted business, administered justice, and received his most honored guests. We're his most honored guests today. Oh, camera's like, no, we're his most blurry guests today. Now we're like, we should have gotten the audiobook. Guys, if they ask you if you want an audiobook, you say yes! Well, yeah, I mean, we could have been learning more, obviously, but we have True. limited time, so we're just gonna make it up as we go. This was used for That's some portion of Outlander, I believe. Nice. No idea. Probably while they had dinner. Maybe there you go. We'll go with that. That makes sense to me. Yeah, we're making it up. Uh, don't listen to us. <laughs> One way out! People know by now we make stuff up if we don't actually know it. Inner hall. That's what happened here. Well, that's not. Well, that was the interior portion done. Okay. I was worried we wouldn't be able to get through it in time. <laughs> there are cellars to be explored. All right. Oof. Into the cellars we plop. So these were prisons. Oh, okay. There's like a, you know, talking point down here. Well, we missed this completely. Cellar spin. Yeah, that's what she said. There were like multiple levels, yeah? Yeah. Oh boy. Well, here is the next level down. Oh, let's let the camera focus. Actually, I guess let's commit and go all the way. Ooh. 
Welcome to the bottom cellar. You came from there. Oh, you don't get to use the cool steps <laughs> like we just came down. You get dropped into the cellar prison through that door and plop. This is where you existed. Pleasant. Yeah. All right, I guess that was the fun tour of the cellars. Let's uh, boop. back out into the world we go. So we're making our way down here toward the toilets. Well, we're told the toilets are just over here because I think we've got like an hour 15, maybe hour and a half back to Greenock, so better safe than sorry. Accessible toilets in cottage and toilets. Well, this is the cutest toilets I've used in a while. Well, I take it back, maybe they're not the cutest toilet, but they're beside the cutest cottage anyway. Well, there are proper toilets though, so that's exciting. All right, looks like our folks are over here ready to load up and head back. We are back with an hour and 10 minutes to spare. I don't know, we got plenty of time left, so. Woohoo! All right, let's hop back on board. Oh, they got face towels and waters at the ready. Well, now we'll join the queue and we are home sweet home. It is time for the evening portion of the video. We made it back to the ship. We did. <laughs> so how was your day with circuit tours circulating around Scotland? <laughs> it was so fantastic, you guys. I've wanted to come to Scotland forever. And not just because of Outlander. That's like a new development no, thing. But just because of the like the scenery. And it mm. did not disappoint, I'll tell no. you that. Like we really enjoyed getting out there and seeing everything. You can do it closer from Edinburgh. We do know that. Or we Queen's know that Ferry. now. But we want to go explore Edinburgh, so this was a good stop for us to do this. Um, it is a bit of a drive, but that's okay. We got to see so much scenery, beauty, mm. and I guess normally like they're filming there, so a lot of people don't get to see it, so we lucked out. Oh, true. Maybe not now, because it's a little bit later, but um, I get to see Harry Goose. Gotta feed one. Feed them. Our tour guide was great. He's not really an outlander person. He doesn't mm. normally do that, so I'm not going to fault him. No. So we didn't like... He, he didn't really tell us about it. He would read, you know, what he knew and stuff, but he let us have extra stops and things. So he was great and we really appreciated him a lot. So yeah, their whole website talks about how yeah. customizable their tours are. And they really were, as long as your vehicle um, can vote that you want to do something <laughs> together, which a party of four made it real easy to vote. So good. Yeah. <sighs> oh, it was such a nice day. And now it's <laughs> dinner time. Yes. And that's all I know. So mm -hmm. MDR. Yes. Let's do it. Welcome back to Symphony! There is our bread selection and butter for the evening. And let's peruse the dinner menu. There is page one. There is page two. Bubble and squeak. What is happening here? I just keep seeing some local words. I like this. There we 
got our after dinner beverages on the first page. And of course, the dessert. Oh, sticky toffee pudding. Wow. Done with the dinner and it's time to wonder. Piazza Tunes! Ooh, shiny! Well, the adult arcade was iffy friendly tonight. Let's settle in here at Bellini's for a while. Well, they have a whole menu of surprise Bellinis. That's kind of cool. I don't know what is going on down there, but that looks fun. Speaking of fun, we are digging into Bellini Town. Uh, so Dee has gone with the Summer Berry Fizz, which is a bunch of berries, peach puree, and Prosecco. I'm trying the Sweet Annie, which is citron, absolute citron, that is. Uh, blueberry puree, peach puree, and Prosecco. I feel so fancy with our giant Bellinis. And apparently these are on our plane because I think we somehow magically got in on the new stuff. True. We'll enjoy them. <laughs> We're sitting kind of above where we can't see the band, but they're getting ready to do a British music set. Oh, a Led Zeppelin. now we all float up next here in the piazza we have a showcase of music this one of course is all of that music we know and love from the 80s but what's so cool about this is this is not on any other ship in our fleet it is exclusive to the regal princess it is something we came up with almost uh six months ago when we had an 80s cruise and it has just been something we look forward to doing every single cruise, and we are so excited to perform it for you. But please welcome back. 